Good morning in the Americas, good evening in Asia, good afternoon in Kenya and East Africa. Welcome to KTN Business Today. My name is Jimmy Bogo. We have an amazing show lined up for you this afternoon. But first, let's have a look at how the market is performing. let's get this show on the road now super petrol consumers will continue to shoulder the cost of higher prices after the energy and petroleum regulatory authority ipra opted to increase the price of the commodity while moderating that of diesel and kerosene as jasmine murani reports the government continues to cross subsidize fuel prices in order to avoid an increase in the cost of commodities that the rise in palm prices has had businesses and consumers struggling in equal measure is not in question. And while Kenyans are feeling the impact of the pump immediately, the rising fuel prices will have an even bigger impact on the wider economy. The prices went down globally. We would uh, normally have expected all the products to reduce the, pri uh, the prices. But what the government is doing, you can see now it has increased two shillings for super and retained uh, um, uh, diesel uh, at the same price. In the recent price cycling, EPRA in a statement noted that the price of diesel has been cross-subsidized with that of super petrol, allowing the price of diesel and kerosene to remain unchanged. Yeah, cross-subsidies refers to, you know, charging one group of consumers uh, more in order to safeguard another group. So just what should Kenyans expect in the near future, courtesy of yesterday's two shillings jump in petrol prices? Majorly petrol is used in uh, transportation only, but not heavy transportation. Uh, like, for instance, your car. But if you look at uh, heavy and commercial transportation uh, for uh, raw materials, finished products, it's uh, mostly diesel. So I do not see a significant impact uh, of rising petrol prices to the economy. It would have been the opposite if uh, that were to happen to diesel. According to oil marketers, privy to the final discussions that settled on the latest price review, the government opted to cushion the wider economy. This is because diesel is more widely utilized by industry, power producers and transporters. Jasmine Murani for KTN News. All right, moving on to matters financial now. Digital Lenders Association of Kenya, that was DLAC, has rebranded to Digital Financial Services Association.